um, stats have shown that there's a gap between what housing costs and what people make. Not everyone in the household has two people working and can afford to live, you know, comfortably. A lot of people do struggle. There are um, single parents who can't afford to find places close to either a bus route, you know, or, or schools. We have a family of four, and you know, we, we're just looking at two bedroom apartments and they're very expensive. If you've ever known anybody who's lived out uh, on the streets, especially for a long period of time, um, rest is just something that's really elusive. You're having to fight to get everywhere. You're having to fight to get services and basic needs that most of us take for granted. A single parent would have to be making $19.10 an hour for 40 hours a week to uh, afford a two-bedroom apartment in Wake County. I see so many people buying their dream homes. They come down with some type of unknown illness and they can't sustain their home. They lose their home and they end up just desolate. When you're dealing with human beings, I mean, they do not, uh, it's not a mathematical equation. The donations and grants that we have, they want to fund services, they don't want to fund facilities. But if we don't have facilities like this, we can't run our programs. And a lot of nonprofits are coming to us and saying, hey, we have a community resource center and we need some new computers, we need some new furniture in there for our families who are in this space. When you get realtors together, you have a group that wants to improve their community and to, to solve problems and to make it better. So we built one giant big wall the length of the house and all the realtors came and we all lined up and raised up that big wall and we had hammers and we nailed it down. And So our goal is just to get stable, to stay on our feet. I have a six-year-old. I don't think she comprehends you know, having your own property. I'll say, this is our house. And she'll say, this is our house. Can we see, how do we measure that we've moved the needle? It's because we're looking for that foothold, the place where we can dig in and really make a difference in the community long term. The one thing I can say is realtors show up, and they show up big. When you put out a call to action for help, they are lining up 